Hello everyone and welcome to Grand Theft Automate. I'm John Levesque and I'll be your virtual host through this video game slash tutorial series. In this series, we're going to cover the different parts of the power platform, what they mean to a business, and how you can use them, all in true video game style. Why don't you come with me and let me show you around and introduce you to some of the world around us and how we're going to use it. Okay, so the first thing we should do is introduce you to some of the different areas and places. Okay, well, I suppose that was as good a welcome as any to the video game world. On with the tour. First thing to know, we'll use the video game world around us to build some story, and then we're gonna teach you something real world using the power platform. Next, we'll use some humor to try and make it funny. But just know this, the tech is real. Try to think of ways you can use it in your own life and your own business. And lastly, if you have questions or ideas for us, make sure to leave us a comment below. Okay, okay, that's it. It's time to go. I'll see you back at the arcade. Welcome back. Let's take a few minutes and talk about the various parts of this business, the arcade, and how we're gonna manage it, understand it, and grow it. The first and most obvious part of the arcade, the games. We buy the games and then we recoup their costs over time through play and then also hopefully turn significant profit on each one too. The next area is the bar. Food, drink, alcohol, this is gonna be a big area of income for us and something we're gonna have to tightly manage. There's also memberships and parties, but we probably won't talk too much about that stuff. Arcades open. The last part of the business we have to manage is staff. Hiring and firing, schedules, time off, and all the wonderful drama that comes from dealing with people. Did I say that out loud? Moving on. All right, now that we've introduced you to the video game world around us and the business at hand, let's go ahead and introduce you to the power platform, the tools we're gonna use. Take a look at my computer screen with me. All right, so here we are. First things first, let's go ahead and bring up our browser, which is going to be at powerplatform.microsoft.com. Now, the power platform is a suite of tools, and I'm going to jump in and describe to you a little bit what each one does. So to do that, let's go ahead and scroll down the page here, past customers, and let's look at the suite of tools. First thing is Power BI. Power BI is your business intelligence tool. As you can see here, it's charts and dashboards and reports, and it's a way for you to get informed about what's happening with your data in your business, right? It's how you visualize what's taking place. So you can see there's some numbers there. There, there's some charts you can see sales amount by years or by year or by brand name and then on our left hand side look at that there's actually live intelligence being generated and shown to you power bi is one of the coolest tools probably one of the most popular in the platform has the most users in their community and on their platform it's a fantastic tool next up power apps so do you want to build apps but you don't know how to code perfect Power Apps is for you. You can build an interface. You can connect it to data. You can make workflows happen behind the scenes by clicking things. This is your quick WYSIWYG editor to drag and drop and create apps for your organization. I'm going to go ahead and skip this and move on to Power Virtual Agents. Power Virtual Agents is your chat slash helper bots. You ever go to your phone company and try and do a chat service and you notice that's not a person. That's a bot, but it's a pretty convincing bot. Power virtual agents are that. They give you an, a, a chat bot experience that takes no code to create that wows your end users. And last but not least, 
Power Automate. Power Automate is how we build workflow and automation. I'm gonna go ahead and click in on this one real quick because it's my favorite and it's the one that we're gonna talk a lot about. And so this is the Power Automate homepage. There's a lot of goodness here that you can get into. You're, there's ways to check out flows and create flows, look at templates, all the different connectors we build and connect to. Uh, you can start checking out some other templates here or look at some, some ways you can use the tool here. But there's one thing in particular that I want to show you and get you connected with. So go over here in the top right of the screen, click this little question mark that says help, and then click on community. The Power Automate community is very important place. Okay, it is where all of our users come together to ask questions, share information, write blog posts, share videos. We have this thing called the Power Automate Cookbook where people build workflows and then just share them out and say, hey, look it, you can download this workflow I've made. Here's how you use it and here's what it does. There are uh, video galleries for the Business Application Summit or stuff that people put in on their YouTube channels, tutorials they make. This is a wealth of information. And so when you want to get started, good news is all the other products, Power Apps, Power Virtual Agents, Power BI, they actually have communities just like this one. And so one more link, if you go to powerusers.microsoft.com, you'll see here, Power BI community, Power Automate community, Power Apps community, Power Virtual Agents community. And so each of those communities has different boards and different help items inside of them that are going to be very useful to you. So don't be afraid to jump in. And again, if you want to learn more about the platform, it's powerplatform.microsoft.com. So this is a brief overview of each of the tools. We're going to dive into each one as the series moves on. Okay, my friends, that is all for our first episode of Grand Theft Automate. In our next episode, we're going to start to dig into tackling real problems that we experience in an arcade business. All right, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.